if you don't have a 3d features in photoshop cs6 or you don't see the 3d menu in photoshop cs6 well in this video we will enable that feature or we can say that we will get that 3d feature in photoshop cs6 and we will make the uh, make our photoshop regular copy or we can say that convert our regular photoshop cs6 into photoshop cs6 extended version so keep in touch and keep watching Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and in this video we are going to enable 3D option in Photoshop CS6 and uh, or we can say that if you have a Photoshop CS6 regular version we will convert that version into CS6 extended so you can easily use Photoshop 3D menu or 3D features uh, on your computer. Okay so before we start one thing I have to clear is that if you don't have see a video card then maybe you don't get 3d option and if you get 3d option it means that you have a video card with this with this method you can uh, do enable your uh, 3d options so let's start let me just show you what is the uh, original photoshop you have so this is the normal photoshop you can see that there is no uh, extended name we can say that it's just normal photoshop cs6 version and as well uh, we can say that there is no 3d menu as you can see on the top there is no 3d menu uh, here it means that we don't we have to enable our features of photoshop cs6 and let me show you it's a normal version you can see that it's not extended version okay so what we will do is uh, we will use a small application very small application and run that application just crack this photoshop and it will convert this photoshop into extended version okay when it will convert it into extended version your photoshop 3d feature will enable automatically okay so i have tons of questions uh, on channel that there is no 3d menu there is no 3d menu i cannot see 3d menu or i cannot use or i i, I don't uh, use uh, 3d menu in photoshop so uh, in this video we will fix that problem so let's just close photoshop uh, uh, f uh the file which i am talking about is uh, uh in drawer file you have to download that file extract that on desktop or wherever you want open that folder you inside that folder you will see a small application name active 3d photoshop cs6 okay so right click on that click on open simply just it will open up uh, click on yes now you will see that uh, there are two tigers uh, you can see that in, uh, on here so we will simply just click on this tiger when you will click you will see that it, it is uh, outlined and you will see there is an ok uh, showing here it means that your photoshop is activated now ok now don't worry about that just click on ok and close that nice let's just size it down and now we will open our photoshop and at this time when you will open your photoshop your photoshop will be converted into cs6 extended version now when you have a extended version it means that you do have a 3d menu in that version nicely done and you can see that we have a 3d menu here let me show you now it is converted into uh, extended version now you can use it wherever you like and it has cracked the both x64 bit or 32 bit the, both of the your photoshop are now in uh, uh, cs6 extended version now you can use 3d features let me show you you can use 3d features easily just create a new document we will create a text so we could test our uh, uh, features if we have any problem or not there is no problem or there should not be problem uh, let's just center this now press uh, now we'll go to right click on that you can just convert it to 3d extrusion or just go to this 3d menu and click on new 3d extrusion now you can see that we can do use these 3d features and uh, you can do a lot more cool things inside that like this you can just render this also uh, here is the render option you can just render that and uh, yes 
that's it i hope it could be helpful for you guys link is given in the description bar you can free download that file just run that there is no spam there is no virus or there is no torjan we can say that if uh, you will see uh, some errors on some you can say that uh, there are some link on youtube that you will find that uh, you can activate but there are lots of viruses inside that but this copy of photo uh, uh, file it didn't have any virus because i have the best antivirus uh, here you can see that the bit defender it's pretty much nice and it provides a uh, nice details of every week and it can detect small small changes into your we can say that uh, pc so if it didn't detect any error it means that there is no error inside that okay don't be worried about that just run that you will enable your photoshop 3d features i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, do not forget to subscribe it's important for me and for you also guys so we'll meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning